Hi and welcome back to freesciencelessons.co.uk. By the end of this video you should be able to describe the inheritance of sex. In the last few videos we've seen that humans contain 23 pairs of chromosomes in their normal body cells. I'm showing you the human chromosomes here. I should point out that normally the chromosomes are not lined up neatly like this. This is just to see them more easily. Now 22 of the chromosome pairs contain the genes which determine inherited characteristics only. However, one of the pairs contains the genes that determine sex, and I'm showing the sex chromosomes here. As you can see, in this case, the two sex chromosomes are different. That means that these chromosomes came from a male. Males have the sex chromosomes X, Y, and it's really important that you learn that. I'm showing you here the chromosomes from a female. You'll notice that in this case the sex chromosomes are the same. In females the sex chromosomes are XX, and again you need to learn that. Ok, we're going to look now at how sex is inherited. I'm showing you here the gametes produced by a couple. You'll notice that all of the woman's gametes have the X chromosome. However, half of the man's gametes have the X chromosome, and half have the Y chromosome. So I'd like you to work out the sex chromosomes in the offspring. Pause the video now and try this yourself. Ok, I'm showing you the offspring here. As you can see, half of the offspring have two X chromosomes, and these offspring are female. And half of the offspring have an X chromosome and a Y chromosome, so these offspring are male. So on average, 50% of the offspring are female, and 50% are male. In other words, a ratio of 1 to 1. However, you need to remember that these are just probabilities. In reality, a couple might have several offspring, and all of them could be male, or all of them could be female. Remember you'll find plenty of questions on the inheritance of sex in my revision workbook, and you can get that by clicking on the link above.